Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been on here in a while. Forgive me, please. Um, if you guys watched my last video, I'm doing like two videos in a day, so whatever. I haven't been, I haven't been here on here in a while. I think it's been like one year. I'm not sure. Or before that, it was like another year. <laughs> I am sorry. I have a whole lot of stuff to do. I have a whole lot of stuff to do. I promise I'm not trying to hide from you guys. Like, don't even start with me about that. I freaking moved out the state, came back in the state. I, I did a whole lot of stuff. You guys, I went to a new country. I went to Portugal. Go. Not my cup of tea, but go. Um, I'm not a big fan of Southern Europe. That's just, I, I already knew that when I went the very first time, but now I just keep going and I just, I don't know. It's something about it. I will watch TV shows. I will go ahead and dress up like, um, old Europe, or I will be wanting to pretend like I'm drinking, you know, I'm drinking my tea and going to billionaires playgrounds. I will go to all these extravagant places. It just, it's, I don't, I don't know. It just don't feel right. Very beautiful places. I love the architecture. I, oh my God, the architecture is amazing. I, I really do love it. I love the history, no matter how cruel it is. No matter how exciting it is, I do love the history, um, the way they dress. Even nowadays, I love the way they dress. But I, I just prefer to go to other different countries other than um, what they got in Europe. Even though it's really amazing, it's just my preference. Um, so I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. If anybody feels like offended or anything, uh, I'm not gonna apologize. It's just that's my preference. Um, but very very beautiful places so please just go portugal was not my cup of tea would i go back maybe for the wine the wine is really good but other than that it's not something i'll go back to unless somebody wants to go um if it's my opinion no i'm more of a tropical person i not as in i'm gonna go to the virgin islands no i want to go to places like costa rica where it just has like a whole bunch of jungle a whole bunch of jungle and when I say about Europe too, Iceland, I love Iceland. Even though it's not a whole bunch of jungle, it, I don't know. It's something about it. It's just like, oh my God. Maybe because it's not nature based all around. Because I'm starting to think about it. I really like nature based. Like I went to New Zealand and Australia. I love New Zealand. New Zealand got a whole bunch of nature. Not saying Australia is bad, just not my preference. Not something that I'll go back to. But New Zealand, I would definitely go back. I just like, you know, maybe it's the whole nature base of it. The whole nature aspect. When I go to the States, yeah, I live in Florida. Yeah, I want to <laughs> yeah, get out of here. But I always find myself coming back here because we just got a whole lot of nature. It's just something I like. And it's something I just happen to notice. Um. So anyway... Uh, I have a few new hobbies and I wanted to talk to you guys about what I have been doing lately One I want to show you something new I got and I will be selling it on my Etsy um, I got into the stamping hang I forgot what it's called Dang And I was looking at it earlier today for different ones too. Oh well. Well. <laughs> oh my god. What is this called? Wax stamp. Wax stamp. I got into wax stamping. So I got these on clearance. This is actually mine. This is not what I'm going to be selling or anything. Um, so, I don't know how to say this. You guys, I'm becoming a sailor. I'm becoming a sailor. I had did my one-week program to go work on a ship. 
after I work on that ship and do my contract for six months, I'm gonna be coming up over here. This is why I wanna tell you about the wax seal stamp. We can't use our phones. And they said the Wi-Fi is extremely bad. So I wanted to bring back into writing letters and make them, or poems, and send it to my family members. Um, <clears throat> send it to whoever, if you guys want to do it and participate with me, go ahead. I would love to do it with you guys. So that's why I got this, so it could just be like, you know, a little special something, portal wax, and snap. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it another day, but that's why I got This is really cheap, and this actually, so you heat this up, the wax melts, you pour it, and then you stamp it and i got a butterfly because of course of course it's me <laughs> of course it's me and you can switch them out it's not something that's like just permanently there so i'm happy i got these i got this um for myself so yeah so yeah you guys i'm becoming a sailor um any details i'm gonna give you guys details later on but I went to Piney Point. Piney Point was crazy. It was crazy, but it was freaking amazing. It was awesome. I I I really like it. And I actually, after six months, I'm gonna take my vacation, apply for their um, apprenticeship program. That program is 16 weeks. It's like a boot camp. But I was talking to some of the people over there. Um, there was this older guy. He was a sailor for years. I want to say about 50 years he was a sailor. And I don't know if I'm going to do it that long. But the way he was like, do it. He was like, you're young. Do it. The I'm not too, I'm not crazy about the money like everybody else is. It was for the travel experience aspect. But he was like, do it, um, girl. He was like, I made like over $100,000 a year. I freaking traveled the world. I, um, I'm good. I can see my kids anytime I want. You just got to renew your paperwork. And then I was just like, yeah, I'm like, I want, like I told him, I'm like, I want kids like soon. Um, I didn't tell him how soon and I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> But I was like, yeah, I want kids soon, and I want, like, you know, a good um, money cushion in the meantime. And he was like, yeah, he was like, I know some women, they will work four months or six months, um, talk to their husbands, come and then come back home and take a year or two years off. And I was like, that's a freaking amazing. Like, if I could do that, and, they were, and I was like, are they good with retirement? He said, yeah. Now, I had to take everything with a grain of salt because obviously I'm not in it, but he seemed pretty trustworthy. And there was another lady, she stopped me. She was like, she was like, please apply for the um, program. And then she was the only one that talked to me today. So, I, you know, I, I felt special. <laughs> she gave me the website and she was like, we need more women in the utility galley. I want to become a deckhand, but I'll try utility galley. Actually, I got hired for the utility galley anyway so we'll see which one i like more but from my research i wanted to become a deckhand but if i do like the utility galley more from what i see with the um deckhands do i was saying the utility galley and then she was telling me how much they get paid and how much time she takes off and her shifts are very sh like their shifts are short they will work like block shifts like i know the ship that i'm on i'm working like a block sh like little block shifts that's what i'm gonna call it um like it's like four hours on four hours off so that's my four hour break i work another four hours and then i'm off for the rest of the day and you have uh, your um overtime is available i'm gonna be in a different country and yeah so after i get off of this ship i'm gonna go to their program their program is 16 weeks i can imagine how hardcore it is because that one week tore me up it tore me up it tore me into shreds man we did a firefighter test my dad's a firefighter he don't do that no more 
But oh my freaking god, that suit was heavy. I had to go in the building. I fell. <laughs> I used the water hose. You, some of you guys know I actually wanted to be a firefighter when I got out of high school. So it's been years. I think it's been six years, seven years in total. And I haven't put that suit on. So you already, and I put the tank on. That was heavy. The tests were very intense. So we had one day to, like that one night to study, take the test the very next morning. It was very intense. Um, we also had a swimming test. I passed out with flying colors. I, I love swimming. You guys know I used to be a professional swimmer. I passed out with flying colors. The only thing that was hard for me about the swimming test, you have to pull yourself up on this raft. That's not the problem. I had extra stuff on me to get on top of that raft. Even with the life vest, I feel like it was kind of difficult. I know that sounds a little crazy, but for me, I don't like extra stuff on me when I'm swimming. If it's not my swimsuit, if it's like another t-shirt on or shorts on, I, I kind of find it a little difficult to do it. People were saying that I looked like I didn't have no troubles. It may look like that, but I still find it a little difficult. And then we had to put this emergency immersion suit on. You guys, I wish I could take pictures, but we're not allowed. It was so freaking funny. They had like different shaped hands and then we had to just wear this little weird red thing. <laughs> Bro, it, it, was, it was ridiculous. But I had so much fun. Our instructors were awesome. The instructors were freaking awesome. I couldn't ask for any better instructors. I was, I, I'm thinking they're going to be all serious and just mean. They were so nice, so helpful. Now, yeah, they were like ex-Coast Guards or ex-military people. So, yeah, they're going to be like, you know, little, they're going to be strict and tough. You can't be late. They don't play that. Uh, but, yeah, they were pretty, they were pretty cool about it. And I learned a whole lot of new stuff. Like, if you guys are interested in becoming a sailor, do it. So far, I'm going to say do it. I don't know what this journey is going to bring me, but do it. I even got um, some little goodies from the ship. It was awesome. It was awesome. Can't ask for a better experience than that. So now I'm just waiting for my call to be on the ship. I have to bring, like, four bags. I'm not doing that. I'm going backpacking after um, for my vacation. So I may bring two bags and that's it. If I need something, I'll just buy it along the way. Um, my check is not a lot from what I know. I'm just saving money. I'm just trying to buy my house and call it a freaking day, okay? So yeah, that's what's been going on with me lately and my plant business i know you guys may see me slow down on that too it was because of that but i had other stuff going on also so if you guys are wondering about my plant business i'm still selling plants i sell more fruit trees now because i gotta get them out here i gotta get them out here I see a lot of people, they don't grow their own food. And I saw these crazy videos about all these GMO foods. So you guys need to buy some fruit trees, whether it's for me or not. <clears throat> I sell a whole bunch of rare stuff at good prices too. I even got mountain soursop. It's different from soursop. I got mountain soursop. It's on my Etsy at Sugary Spice LLC. I'll even put the link down below. I got mountain sour soft. I got black sapote. I got cherimoya. I got um, tamarind. I got um, red atomoya. Pineapple. I'm going to put more moringa back on the site too. I'm selling batana oil. That batana oil is some good stuff. I like the smell, but it has done wonders for my skin. So get some batana oil. I saw that on my um, Etsy account too. What else? Kamito. I got Kamito. 
a lot of these plants are tropical by the way so if you guys do live in a zone you're gonna have to take extra special care of them but i'm not sending you like something that like a seedling that will die they're like established enough to be able to survive for those of you guys that live in colder climates cherimoya is going to be your best bet it it grows in mountains so you don't have to worry about that like oh my god i have to put this in a greenhouse oh my god i have to do this and that you know put it in your backyard you'll be good if you live in a colder climate um so yeah i got a whole bunch of rare fruit trees i even got egg fruit i got my main um i'll go into more detail about all these fruits i even have my passion fruit growing so i'm gonna be selling seeds soon i'm starting to put seeds on my etsy account a lot of you guys like it and you know some people don't they don't want to buy an established plant or a plant that they just got um like as, as a seedling so they want to grow them them itself so i sell the seeds also so don't worry i'm even going to sell some date seeds um audra dates we got some avocado or, that we're growing a lot of people love av avocado i'm gonna be honest with you i am not a big fan of avocado i don't know what it is i would eat it don't matter if the avocado is this small i would eat half of it that's how much i like avocado but avocado ranch homemade so good so freaking good um but yeah I don't know. I don't know why I, I'm thinking about this avocado. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it like that. My dad will eat a whole bag maybe in two days max. If if he's hungry and has nothing to eat at home, he will eat the whole bag that day. That hour. I may be a little dramatic, but he eats like an avocado with every single meal, and I cannot do it. Maybe that's why. Maybe I just see somebody, over, like, for me, overeating a fruit, and I just tend not to eat it. Um, I want to start selling fruit soon. I don't think I have enough fruit on my tree, but, you know, yeah, you guys. Um... There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, speaking of the sailor, I did mention that after I do my little excursion, <laughs> my little adventure working as a sailor for six, my first six months, I'm going backpacking. So my vacation, what I wanted to do, because I'm not traveling alone, what I wanted to do was go to a very cheap country and just chill out for five weeks straight straight up just chill out for the five weeks don't do nothing see the same thing every single day i already do that i already do that here i already see the same thing every day over here it's not going to be a difference but that's what i wanted to do but because i've been to over 30 plus countries that's not my decision so what we're gonna do is we are going to a country every single week now i don't know how that's gonna work we may have to stretch it out for three weeks i don't know how we're gonna plan it it depends it all depends i know what i said was we're gonna go to a continent I didn't say we we're going to do it. I made a suggestion. We go to a continent and we travel around there so it will be easier instead of going to freaking like Indonesia, then go all the way back to freaking um, France and then go all the way to Uganda and then go all the way to Antarctica. Like I didn't, that's too much time wasting to be on a plane. That's the, that was just my opinion. But the way I was shown how to travel there, I was like, this might, this can actually work out. So my suggestion was going to like, for example, if you go to Europe, 
we start at France and then we just jump over. So it could take less than a day to get over there. It might take like an hour. We might spend an hour on the plane and we go to more countries. So we're still trying to figure that out. But, you know, not my decision. I didn't, I'm not making that decision. And I'm not going to bring a whole lot of stuff anyway. I want to bring back stuff from Europe or Asia or Africa or oh, if we travel different parts of America or Canada. <laughs> um so yeah that's what i want to do i want to bring back stuff so i'm not, I'm really not bringing a whole lot of stuff at all so i don't know i don't know what I, there's something i'm supposed to be telling you guys but i don't remember dang um, in a different video I was, i'll tell you guys because i really do not remember right now I'm so tired. I was just working last night and I was working on a whole lot of stuff. I was posting stuff on Etsy and everything. I'm, t I'm talking to you guys like, a, like, like you guys are right next to me and you guys might not have nothing to do. So until I remember, I will see you guys in another video and explain to you about the rest of my shenanigans in my life. So yeah. Bye, you guys, and thank you for watching this video. And if you guys have any questions about anything at all, comment it down below, and I will answer them in a different video in a later time. And I promise I'm not going to take, like, a whole year to make another video. I am so sorry about that. So, bye.